So today, we're going to be using one of your guys' decks in the Majestic Challenge and see how well can I do. This time we're going to be using the Banshee, Yeti, Genie, and the Phoenix. The Banshee, we gotta try to enchant everyone with a speed buff so that way the Jetty can be insanely dangerous. The Genie is already a super fast hero with the speed buff, he should be insane. And of course the Phoenix, he is already pretty fast, but whenever he dies we can just push the egg around, should be easy to revive him. Let's see how well can we do with this deck. My name is 2Mike and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alrighty, shout out to the person down here for recommending me this deck. Hopefully it's, it's a bit easier than um, you know my last video. The last video I struggled a lot. Um, but we are doing this during the clan quest weekend. So hopefully you know we do better this time around. We only hit... Okay, we actually hit three heroes right there. So not bad. We enchanted the Phoenix with a little speed buff. So that's pretty good. He is using a heal deck with the Rocketeer. So this actually might be very dangerous to win. But we're still going to try our best anyways. Let's just, I guess we just hit the, the priest like that. The Yeti does get a hit off, but Sally doesn't hit, it doesn't get a double hit, but we do give the Yeti a speed buff, so that's good. He is going to heal up the priest while buffing up the Rocketeer. So the Rocketeer is buffed. The Rocketeer is strong, which is not good. We're just going to hit the, the Rocketeer like this, push him towards the Phoenix, or not towards the Phoenix, towards the Spellwing. The Rocketeer did take a bunch of damage, it's because of the Genie's ability. So the Rocketeer has 213 health. If we can somehow push, you know, um, the Rocketeer towards the Genie, we might be able to take him out. If Especially if he gets a double hit and whatnot, you know. But um, we're going to try. We're just going to try. Hopefully we can actually take him out. We just gotta push him and hopefully we get multi-hits and whatnot. Yes! Woo! We took out the Rocketeer before he was able to go, and he was at, you know, he was at max rockets. He could have taken out two or three of my heroes easily right there. So thankfully, uh, he wasn't able to pull off a, a crazy play right there and whatnot. So let's do, um, what can I do? Should we just hit the spell wing? I honestly don't know. Spell wing, priest. I guess the spell wing, the spell wing is pretty annoying. I guess we'll try to go after the spell wing here. We weren't able to double hit the spell wing, but the Banshee actually just did a lot of hits there. Lots of damage. And we finally was able to enchant the, the genie. So the genie is now super fast. So let's see if we can, you know, do some crazy stuff here. Let's see if we can double hit the paladin and make the Yeti go down and hit the spell wing with the um the attack buff. Because that would be great. So right here should do the trick. Yes, there you go. But the the spellwing is still alive. Are you kidding me? Spellwing is alive with one health, dude. Are you kidding me? With one measly health, he is still alive and he's going to heal him up once again. While wow, triple hitting the genie. Very well played. Um, let's just hit the spellwing towards the Yeti, maybe. This should hit the, the paladin once again. There you go. The spellwing is finally dead. So no more echoes on the board, even though he still has two. Um, my heroes are getting very weak, which is a problem. My saving grace is the, you know, the phoenix, but he's not going to focus on the phoenix. It makes sense. Let's do... Uh, can we double hit the priest here and then push it towards the yeti? Or should we just focus on the paladin? Honestly, yeah, let's just focus on the paladin, I guess. We should be able to get a double hit right here. Let's see. Bada boom. Ooh! We took out the paladin right there. Only the priest is left alive. Uh, like I said, my saving grace is the genie and the phoenix. Because he is going to take out the yeti and the, the banshee right there. So, not good. Not not happy about that. Um, you know, the priest has 400 health. Alright. So, let's just push the, the phoenix towards the priest right there. Look at the speed! Holy guacamole! Look at that speed, my dude. The priest only has 56 health, so we just need one more turn. He does manage to take out the... Oh, he heals up. Are you kidding me, dude? He manages to heal up. I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to get the double hit there, so I'm just going to focus on the Phoenix's egg. Just have fun with it. Do that. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Just keep him alive. Revive him, because I wasn't too sure that we were going to get the, the double hit, so I just wanted to make sure to revive the Phoenix and then just try our best the next turn, because the Priest doesn't do too much damage as it is. 
So all we gotta do now is with the Phoenix, just push it towards the genie right here. Or actually, yeah, push it towards the genie right there, and we are going to get the victory. This was a long match, but we were actually able to get the first victory right there. We could have lost right there with if the Rocketeer would have went. Thankfully, we were actually able to take him out before he was able to go. First victory. Uh, not too easy, but we actually were able to pull it off. Let's continue on. Yoki Doke, second match here. Let's see who we're going to face. I mean, the Wombo combo, Mummy Cleric combo, and his Cleric goes first. Thankfully, you know, he does have the 30% damage reduction, but it is going to hurt regardless. Well, thankfully, yeah, thankfully it wasn't too crazy right there. Let's do, I guess we can just hit the Mummy towards the Genie, I guess. That's a lot of damage, and the Cleric also takes some damage right there. We're actually able to enchant the Yeti and the Genie right there, so the Yeti gets the speed buff once again. Well, he... He re-enchants the Yeti, okay? Let's hit the mummy like this. We should be able to hit the cleric as well. So let's do let's do that right there. Bada bing bada boom. Oh my goodness gracious, look at the speed buff and whatnot from the from the genie. We took out the mummy, that's good. Uh, let's try to take out the cleric. We don't want the cleric to go. We're doing very well here so far. We're doing very well. Nice little double hits on both of them. Very well played. Let's just hit the cleric like this. Hopefully, we do hit the sorceress as well. Yes, we do. We took out the, the, the cleric right there. We're doing amazing here. We are doing amazing. All right. So, striker, he will take out the genie. Yeah, that's fine that he took out the genie. Let's do... We don't have a good angle here to hit the sorceress. I think we can hit the striker. Oh, no. We can actually hit both of these guys. So, let's just do that instead. Hit both of them. And we actually took out the striker. Only the sorceress is left alive with how much? Nine health. We should win this. We should win here super easily. So, yeah, super easily. All we got to know is just get a hit off. And bada bing bada boom. Let's go. Oh, speed buff from the Yeti. Oh my goodness, the sorceress is going crazy. Yeah, uh, speed buff is insane, especially with the genie. If you give the genie that speed buff, holy guacamole, he will go at light speed. It's just crazy. But there you go, guys. Against the Mummy Cleric combo, we were actually able to win against that uh, against them. Two wins, zero losses. Let's continue. Yoki doki. Come on. Third match here uh, against Mummy Cleric with Scarecrow and Naga. That's not good. Him having the Naga while I have the Banshee is so bad. He is going to push the Mummy, dealing absolutely nothing. Holy guacamole. That was a horrible play. Can we push the Cleric towards the Phoenix, please? Nope. At least we did, you know, hits on three heroes, I guess. He's going to enchant three heroes right there. This The Yeti took a bunch of damage. That's not good. We'll do this. Just go for the straight hit on the Cleric right there. Hopefully we do something crazy against the Cleric to actually take him out. Not, oof. We did deal a lot of damage, but sadly it wasn't enough to take out the Cleric. So the Cleric goes next. He'll probably take out the... He's focused on the genie, surprisingly. Okay, go for it, my dude. Focus on the genie. On the scarecrow. Oof, lots of damage. Lots of damage. Let's push the banshee. I don't think we're going to be able to, but push the banshee towards the naga. Nope, we completely missed, but we do hit the mummy for a lot of damage as well. We finally took out the cleric. Um, Three of my heroes are enchanted, which makes the naga incredibly dangerous. He can easily take out the genie if he wants to, so... He, he's leaving the Yeti alone, which is a, not the greatest play, in my opinion. We're going to hit the, the Naga like this. I'm just going to hope that the Yeti actually hits the Scarecrow and we can do something crazy. Ooh, snap a -roonies. Sorry, I screamed. But there you go, guys. We somehow managed to take out the Mummy and the Naga right there with a crazy Yeti play right there. Only the Scarecrow is left alive. The Scarecrow cannot use this ability. Even though he does manage to take out the genie, we should be fine here in winning against a lone scarecrow, even though my heroes are getting super weak. Hopefully we do win here. Push it towards the Yeti and the Phoenix. There you go. Oh, double hit on the Phoenix right there. Or double hit on the scarecrow using the Phoenix. That was very good. Alright, so he's going to take out the Banshee. And sad, uh, thankfully he wasn't able to do anything right there. Scarecrow only has 77 health. Phoenix goes next. We can take him on a one hit. Very close match, but...
but we were actually able to win there. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. The, the Yeti went super crazy there once again. Let's go crazy close match. And we were actually able to win there, especially taking out the Mummy and the Naga like I did right there with the Yeti. That was incredibly well played right there. Three wins, zero losses. Let's continue on. Okie dokie. Come on now. Come on, we can do this. I mean, we're going to keep facing the same heroes, sadly. His clear goes first. Oh my goodness. My saving grace is that, of course, he has the 30% damage reduction. I just can't believe the, his, he got lucky with the clear going first. I'm just hoping that he doesn't do too much damage. He's going after the Yeti, okay? And the Genie. Okay, so he's going to hit the Genie. He might miss the Yeti here now. Yeah, now he's going. he's not going to hit the Genie. Or hit the Yeti. The Genie did take a bunch of damage, but he is somehow still alive. Let's focus on the Cleric right there. Push it towards the Banshee. The Spell Wing also took a bunch of damage, so that's good. Um, with him having Armadillo, my Banshee is pretty uh, susceptible to dying quickly because of the Armadillo. He's going for the Banshee. The, yet, uh, the Genie just died, sadly, so we weren't able to do much. That's the problem. We weren't able to do much right there. Let's hit the spell wing and the cleric right here. Hopefully we do push this, the cleric towards his steam. Yes, we were. This might be our first loss because all he has to do is push either probably the banshee, probably the best choice. Push the banshee towards the armadillo. If he pushes the phoenix towards the armadillo, oh no, he's going to enchant the yeti. Okay, that's fine. Enchant the yeti. He's going to get the double hit, probably push it towards the echo. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Let's actually go for the double hit right here. We should be able to hit the cleric as well. But a boom. Oh, 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 please hit the Yeti. Oh, imagine. Imagine. All right. Um, Armadillo goes next. This is where he's going to place bombs on at least two of my heroes here. Oh, only one hero. That's fine with me. And now we have to... Oh, never mind. He just took out the, the Banshee. Well played. Okay. How much health does he have? Cleric has 86. Let's just push him towards the steam. It should be enough to take him out. So let's do that. Ba -da boom. Oh, our ability goes off, hitting the armadillo. Nicely done. All right. So 3v2. It is going to be tough. Especially if he takes out the Yeti first, it is going to be a tough matchup. But if he takes out the Phoenix first, then we could have a, a decent chance of winning here because we could do the revival ability. Oh, oh, oh okay. That hurts. That hurts. Let's just go crazy here. Hopefully the Yeti does something crazy. Oh, he does. Wow, what a play. But I cannot believe the Steam. The Steam missed the Armadillo and the Spellwing there. We could have gone at least two more hits. That would have been great to get at least two more hits right there. And yep, that's game. We weren't able to win there. It was a good attempt, my dude. It was. It really was a good attempt. But sadly, we weren't able to pull off the win. Try my best, though. I mean, hey, we're doing pretty good considering the fact that my last video, we only got one win. So, hey, we got three wins, one loss here. Uh, hopefully, we can still go far, even though we are doing this during the Clan Quest weekend. So, I'm just hoping that, you know, we can actually go far here. Let's continue on. Yoki doki. First loss right there. Facing, of course, the same deck. But the Cult is interesting. Um, we don't want the Banshee up there, especially with his Armadillo going first. So, let's see if we can push the Yeti upwards. To do absolutely nothing. The Yeti is a big boy. He's going to go for the... the. Oh, wow. He actually placed a bomb on both of them. Well, okay. Okay, that's fine. Because we can always um, revive the Phoenix. Let's just do that. That should be a lot of damage to the, towards the, um, the Armadillo right there. Let's go. Revive the Phoenix. All right. But sadly, the Cleric goes next. Going for the Genie. Okay. That's going to hurt. Yep, the genie died. That was that was not there was so much I was gonna There was sadly not much I could have done there. It's all good though. Let's push the, the Jetty towards the Cleric here. We should be able to hit the armadillo as well. Nope, not the armadillo. We do hit the cultist instead. Not bad. But um it's a 4v3. It's going to be a tough one, especially if he takes out the Banshee right now. He will be taking out the Banshee. Oh, wait. Nope, the Banshee is still alive, but the Yeti took a bunch of damage. Can we... We'll do this, I guess. Hit the Cultist. We do hit the Cultist. I meant the Cleric, but we do hit the Cultist uh, as well. He doesn't want to take out the, the Phoenix, and it makes sense. So he's going for the Yeti. The Banshee is dead. The Yeti is dead. Yeah. Well played. 
We're not going to be able to win here. The Phoenix alone is not going to do anything, so I'm just going to surrender. Sadly, we're not going to win a 1v1 with a freaking Phoenix, which is the lowest health unit in the game. But, hey man, I try my best right there. I just want at least one or two more wins here. Um, but hopefully we can actually do so. Let's continue on. Alrighty, I don't want to lose three in a row after winning three in a row. Of course, we're keep facing the same deck right here. My Banshee goes first. Let's go... Let's actually you know, just shoot a cannon right here towards the Cleric. And I'm going to hope that we can also hit the Cannonmancer. We don't hit the Cannonmancer. We actually do hit the Cannonmancer with the <laughs> body damage of the... The, um, the, the, um, the Banshee. He hits with the cat three heroes right there. Not bad. We're going to use the cannon once again to hit, uh, those three up there. The cleric is going to survive no matter what. Lots of damage to the, to the, um, to the gargoyle. So that was pretty good. Um, uh, but now this is where we might lose a hero to here. He's going for the Banshee. Oof. Yeti is dead. I wasn't able to do anything. That's sad. Alright. So we're going to push the Banshee towards the cannon so it hits the mummy. We should be able to hit the cleric. Only the cleric? Seriously? That was not good. Not good at all, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for the genie. He, again, he doesn't want my phoenix to stay alive. Very well played right there. This is not good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can hit the Banshee towards you know, the cannon master. Hit the cleric, hopefully. We don't hit the Clerk per se, but we still did lots of damage to three heroes, so. But, unfortunately, all of my heroes are weak. All he has to do is take out the Banshee and the Genie, which he should be able to easily right here. No, not yet. Alright. Not yet, but, uh, yeah, there's not much I can do here. Let's just double hit the Clerk here, I guess. Whoa, wow, we actually multi-hit the Clerk right there. We also took out the Cannonmancer and the Cat. But, um, if he plays correctly here, the Gargoyle's ability will take out the Phoenix here, and I think he will. So, yeah. I mean, there's not much I could have done there. So, I think that is game. No, we're still... <laughs> I mean, you know, the Phoenix has 14 health. Okay. Uh, we will need to multi-hit the, the Mummy somehow, so let's see... And we weren't able to pull it off. We will need two, two extra hits, so no way we, were, we weren't able going to win there. Super sad about that, guys. I really tried. We were doing very well there at the f the first three games we won. The first three games we won. And now we just lost three times in a row right there. No clue how that happened. Super annoyed about that. But, I mean, if everybody keeps using the same decks, it's just going to be difficult to actually win against them. Because they're just overpowered. Sadly, that is going to be just three wins. I do apologize for the very short video, but hey, it's much better video than the last one. Regardless, guys, super sad about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Hey, the Speedy Yeti and the Speedy Genie was a lot of fun to use. It's just difficult to face a cleric and the mummy together, you know? Not much I could have done there, but just hoping for the balance update, which should come out in less than two weeks. Fingers crossed, that's going to be a good balance update. If you guys have any other recommendations that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks again for the continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.